So here's a cute little baby robin that must have fallen out of the nest. We're right underneath a very large oak tree, and lucky that it sort of fell in here. I found it in the pot. Unfortunately, I had to go on a little chase to make sure that uh, it stayed in the pot, because I must have been a little loud, and it ran off. I had to grab it and bring it back. This is a very good spot for it to be in. I also elevated it on another pot. There's a fence there, so should keep the predators out, except for maybe birds. But this is a bit of an older one. Should be starting to get ready to fly soon. And he does not mind me at all at this point. Doesn't mind me petting him. Doesn't mind me sort of... Well, yeah, petting him. Man, is he cute. If his parents don't decide to feed him, then I think I might have to do some of that myself. When I had to retrieve him, though, his parents were not happy with me, but at least shows that they can still hear him, so maybe if he cries out for food, they'll answer the call. That's why I made sure he was still under the oak tree. But that's it for now. Oh, you are cute. So that right there, if you guys can see that sort of floating line in the middle of the water there, there's a better look at it. That is a pickerel. Not a large one, they get a lot bigger. But you'll notice there's a lot of other fish going around, like the sunnies and such. Now they're a little scared of me, they won't come close to the shore when I'm near because for all they know I'm a predator, but as for that pickerel, they have a tendency, even when they're very young, even when they're babies no more than an inch long, they are not afraid of you at all. Now these guys are edible, of course at bigger sizes. Problem is, they tend to be really nasty on the line when you're fishing. They've got some pretty sharp teeth in the front, and they can snap a fishing line pretty easy if they get it in their mouth right. Let's see how close I can get to him before he darts off. Let's see if I can get a closer look. I wish that glare on the surface of the lake wasn't as bad. He's wising up a little bit. He's like, what are, you, what are you looking at me for? Why are you getting so close? Let's see if I can't get like over him a little bit. Maybe zoom in the camera. So you guys can see. Oh yeah, there's that's a little better. It's not great, but this is closer than any other fish would let me get. There, he's off. So I flipped open this filter here. We just had a plastic lid over it to make sure no one sort of stepped in. But we did that in replacement of the old stone lid, which had broken. And there was a little gap underneath the plastic lid. And when I opened it, a little baby garter snake went out and into this uh, filter. So I'm going to take it out and release it. There were very high winds a few days ago. This is actually a piece of a black cherry, and those are some underdeveloped black cherries that, well, they're not exactly going to develop now, are they? But I was trying to figure out where the snake was before I stuck my hand in it. And I think that is him right there. That's his little end of his tail. Well... Oh, there he is. I did not see that before. Camouflage for you. The poor baby's kind of scared. He's puffing up his head. You see he's trying to make his head a little more arrow-shaped to try to mimic a venomous snake. And he's a little bitey right now. Hopefully I'll get him to calm down. But right now, I'm going to have to head him carefully. Although, a snake of this size wouldn't be able to give me any sort of bite that would be dangerous. In fact, the bite 
might not even break the skin. Well, this is about as much as I'm going to be able to handle him before I set him free. He's a little bitey, and his bites can't do much, but being bitten by any snake of any size is not pleasant. So I'm just going to let him go. Oh my goodness, not that way. Th that way. Yes. So that little guy musked up my hand pretty good. It smells awful. But I'm not worried because you know what's really great for getting rid of the smell of snake musk? Chlorinated water. Yep, can't even smell it anymore. Just the chlorine smell.